Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm making another Father's Day card, only this one is on an action wobble. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a piece of white, 8.5 by 11 cardstock, cut in half this way at the uh, 5.5 inch mark, and then I'm scoring, I scored it at 4.25. And that's how you get an A2 size card. One of the ways, anyway. Okay, and then I got a blue layer. This is from a Martha, or not Martha Stewart, <laughs> Joanne stack, uh, uh, eight and a half by eleven stack of paper. It was like something seaside or something like that. And I cut it at four. By five and a quarter, and then I ran it through the divine swirl embossing folder. That's such a great one. It it it, it applies to so many different things. I use it so much that and the and the Swiss dots. Okay. So there's the base of our card. Let's put that aside. Let's put together our little sailboat. My husband had given me the suggestion that for Father's Day I should do sailboat, a sailboat card. So here it is, Nick. Um, this is the shadow of the boat from... I have the hardest time remembering because I have so many ideas in my head. Um, let's see. Oh, that came from, no, let's see, Designer's Calendar has a sailboat. There's a few cartridges that have sailboats, but I chose this one because I liked this little flag at the top. So I cut it at uh, four inches high. Now, it's a little big, but I went ahead and cut several, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. So it's okay, but um, I, I think it's a little big for my taste. And so I cut two of them, and I cut the little boat part off so that I could do the sail in yellow and the boat in white. Because what I did was I got this little stamp that's like a hound's tooth. It is a, it is a hound's tooth stamp. And I wanted to give the white some detail. So I chose this one, and I'm using tumbled glass, distress ink, and I'm going to stamp the bottom to give it that pattern paper kind of look. And then I took the distress ink. And with the tool, I'm just going to go around the edges with it. I love this blue color of this dress ink. So now we can attach it to the shadow. Here's my tweezers. I love the tweezer be kind, guys. Um, if you're looking to get a tweezer, I'd say just just go for the tweezer be. They hold. They hold the best. The others are nice, but honestly, they just don't have the grip that this one does and it just kind of feels like it's going to fall off. You know, it doesn't. I mean, I've used my other ones. These are the ones I grab for. I have a couple others just in case if I ever, you know, misplace these or something, which has happened if you've watched my videos. I've misplaced them before. <laughs> 
I put a little too much glue and it came out the side, so I'll have to take that off. This is the Mo Tombow Mono Liquid glue, and it's removable or permanent. Um, so it's similar to the quick Scotch Quick Dry, but the bottle does not clog. All right, now let's add some detail to the sale. What I did was I got this cling stamp from Michaels. It's just, it's not sticky here, it just kind of clings to the block. This one's a $9.99 one, in case you're wondering. It's over by the clear stamps. <clears throat> and just using my Versam Versamark ink pad, but I'm not embossing or anything. I just, you know what, I was going to do it th differently. Um, okay, what happened was I just wanted to give it like a watermark effect. I didn't want it to be anything too obvious, just a subtle thing. But you can't really, on this yellow paper, you can hardly see it. So then I thought, wait, let's take our perfect pearls and do it in a gold, right? So if I had known I was going to do that, I would have just used the perfect medium, but I didn't. And I, I do prefer to use this because it does work better, okay, because it's stickier. But I didn't use it because that wasn't my intention of doing this. So then I forgot just now. Okay, so I just take the gold and with this little brush, if you get the set, you get the brushes. If you don't get the set, then you buy the brushes separately. And now Michaels is starting to carry some different colors. We just found that out when we were there on Saturday. Robin and I were having a field trip and we, we call them field trips. And we discovered that, and we discovered that Michaels is cut carrying the um, Perfect Pearl Mist. They come like in a two-pack. Very cool. That is neat. That was kind of our wish, that they would start carrying some new stuff. Um, all right, now we need to take our mini mister or any kind of mister you have and you just kind of mist it into the air and you run the image through the mist just to set that um, perfect pearl powder okay then we need to stamp that with our sentiment and my sentiment came from a Studio G set that I got at the expo this year and I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. I think it makes the best impression with these inexpensive stamps. And you just push it down and just wait a couple seconds and give the paper a chance to soak up that ink so you can get a good impression. My paper was a little wet, so I don't know what that's going to do, but we'll see. Okay, now thinking about doing something a little different here. I was going to pop it up, but you know what, I'm not going to do that because that's going to take more time and I'm already at nine minutes. I'm hoping to someday soon be able to get more time on YouTube, but I need more follow, more subscribers, guys, on YouTube. And more viewers and all of that so I get to try again apply again for more time in like two months okay and then what I did was I put a little piece of twine down here with some see this is clogged and I don't have time to mess with that I'm about to run out of time here, so come back for part two.
Bye.